Hi and welcome to this lesson. Today I'll be explaining how to calculate the surface of an irregular area. Now in one of my other videos I explained how to calculate the surface of something like a square or a rectangle which is quite simple. Firstly just a few reminders we are going to use a scale. So the scale we are going to use is 1 to 50,000 and please remember that it doesn't necessarily represent any specific unit of measurement. You can use inches, centimeters, miles or kilometers. I'm going to use kilometers because that's what I'm used to. Then the concept square kilometers. What is a square kilometer? Now a square kilometer is a square of which each side is one kilometer long. So on, on the screen you'll see an example of an area and this area is 12 square kilometers. So in that area we should be able to fit 12 squares of which each side is one kilometer. So what if your teacher gives you a shape and it looks like this? Firstly I'm going to show you how to do it when your teacher has already given you a grid but I guess some teachers might decide not to give you a grid they'll give you the scale and expect you to draw up your own grid now I'll show you how to do this at the end of the video but for now we are going to assume that the teacher has given you a, an area a scale and the grid is already there so what you are simply going to do is you are going to count all the full squares first and you will see that there are about 30 squares. Now you might have a question. Not all of the squares are complete squares. If you look at the squares indicated on your screen where a certain part of the square is not included in the shape, why do I still count it as a full square? Firstly, those squares, those small parts of some of the squares that have been included is simply because there are other squares that have not been included or certain parts of squares that have not been included and as you can see the arrow is pointing to a few of those sections that have not been included so the two cancel each other out more or less so the total amount of full squares or complete squares is 30 and then we are going to count all the half squares once again you might want to point out that all the halves are not exactly the same size once again we have smaller halves and bigger halves like the two indicated with, with the arrows there and the one half is slightly bigger than the other one and that's once again how they cancel each other out. So if you count all the half squares it will give you a total of 10 half squares. Now obviously 10 half squares would be 5 full squares so that's why we get to a total of 5 and then we are going to count all the squares that are more or less three quarters and so all the squares indicated with a smiley or with a smiley inside those are the squares that are three quarters now these squares we are going to count as full squares and once again question might come up in your head but why do we count them as full squares and the answer is simply that some of the squares as the ones indicated on the screen some of them have a certain section within the area of the shape and we have left those sections out of the calculation and so these uh, two things uh, cancel each other out more or less okay so we have 30 full squares we have another five that's 35 and then we have five squares which are about three quarters the size of a full square and so you will say 30 plus 5 plus 5 and the answer is 40 square kilometers. Now I'm going to explain what you should do if the teacher did not give you the grid. If, you, if the teacher simply gives you the shape and the scale and asks you to draw up your own grid. Here is where we are going to use the scale, which is 1 to 50,000. Now, we are going to work in centimeters. So, what the scale tells you is that one centimeter on the map represents 50,000 centimeters on the ground or in real life. Okay, so now we need to convert this to kilometers because we want to work in square kilometers. And so, we need to calculate how to 
draw that square kilometer on, on, on the piece of paper. So what we do is in order to get from centimeters to kilometers we divide by a hundred thousand. So we are going to say 50,000 centimeters divided by a hundred thousand equals 0 0.5 and so we know that it's 500 meters or 0 0.5 kilometers. So if one centimeter on the map represents 0 0.5 kilometers then two centimeters will represent one kilometer. So each side of your square which makes up the whole grid should be two centimeters long. So now you are going to use your ruler draw up your grid but you have to measure two centimeters. So if you go to the to the top of the page for example to the top of your just above the, the top of your shape you're going to draw a line and then mark two centimeters along that line and then do the same uh, on, on, on the vertical line then you then you can start um, drawing your your grid and then you follow exactly the same method as I explained um, previously add up the, the full squares then you add up all the three quarters and, and, and the halves. I'm pretty sure that most teachers will give you some grace. They'll say that the answer will be between this and this. In, in this case we had 40 square kilometers so the teacher might say it must be somewhere in between 38 square kilometers and 42 square kilometers. So make sure you work as accurately as possible but if you follow these steps I'm pretty confident you won't go wrong and uh, your answer should be accepted. Thanks once again for watching. If you have a question, pop it down in the comment section below. Feel free to subscribe and also if you need more information on, on geography, map work and, and these sort of calculations, I've posted a whole series of videos. So go check the description below. There are a few links down there and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.